guys welcome back so today i'm by myself um i want to let you guys know i'm probably going to be changing my youtube channel name to myself because louise and jay they're just not working it um also don't mind this as it is a pimple just ignore it forget about it it didn't happen and my nail just fell off <laughs> as we were starting but welcome back Today we are going to make birria, um, I have all my stuff laid out, I will link it down below with everything you need, I will add it in the description, or you guys want me to show it to you, mm, I'll show you everything we need, well, as we go. It is a caldo, so I do need a big one. So we put some oil in here, and what goes in it, we're going to fry a little bit, we're going to put celery, I have a whole head of basically what would be a whole head of garlic it's just that i buy the peeled ones already so it's 13 garlics five chiles de arbol and a whole onion okay so we're just gonna dump that in here so it's 13 garlics just in case you guys um I don't like a lot of celery, so I'm gonna put two little things. I'm gonna leave that for like two minutes. Um, and the meat we're gonna be using today. So, I went to the store and I just asked the guy, like, I'm gonna make birria. What's, what meats do you have? You know, we are. Um, during this time, there's not a lot of like meat. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that or not but he told me that this is pretty good for it i mean it shreds according to him i don't know maybe not we'll have to find out but it's um bicep pasta chuck roll it's a whole chuck roll right and then we're gonna throw the meat in there i'm gonna wash it first oh hi I'm gonna add the meat. Oh, I couldn't turn it. Okay, this is what it's looking like in there. Okay, that's what I have going on in there. Okay, and then we're gonna add, you can add water or chicken broth. So I'm gonna add chicken broth, I'm gonna add two because no, birria has to have like consomme. Just gonna add this. Squeezing it. I'm gonna add the other one. So you want like the meat to be submerged, <coughs> which my meat is not, so I'm just gonna add water. While I'm filling up my water, you're gonna wanna add one bay leaf. I'm trying to grab a whole one. So, una hoja de laurel, bay leaf. We're gonna let that a little bit you're gonna add chiles nuevo mexico and chile pasilla okay. so i'm actually gonna put like seven of them uh, of each so it'll be 14 chiles So 
that's boiling and all the chiles are done, um, I'm gonna do the seasonings that I'm gonna put for when I blend it together. So I'm gonna have a little bowl. I have here some chicken, what do you call it? Boyan, something like that. So I have half a tablespoon. I'm gonna dump it in there. You need salt right there. And then you need cumin, but I have it whole. And you need oregano, which I also have like little pieces. So I'm just gonna grind these up a little bit. Um, so basically, so now we're gonna take out the chiles that we put in there, as well as the onion and the garlic. Supposedly, you have to let it sit for four hours. It's currently 6.16, should be ready by nine. Um, we're probably not gonna eat this tonight. We're probably gonna eat it tomorrow. Um, so, okay. So it's been, what, two hours, I think? We're gonna check it out. So this is what it's looking like. I don't know what the hell that just moved a little bit. A lot of my water, it used to be like all the way up here, as you guys can see, and then it evaporated. But luckily it's just for two. Oh, so that should be fine. Um... Yeah, look. Oh, my meat is me falling. Alright, All right, guys, that was my recipe for birria. Um, I hope you guys can recreate it and I hope you guys like it. Um, don't forget to tag me if you do or just send it to me. And like I said, um, my channel is probably going to have a new name. Uh, it's probably just going to be my name because Louise and Jaylene. Um, 
yeah, there, I guess they're too busy for me. So, yeah, just let me know what other foods you guys want to see me cook. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.